Governor Evers extended Wisconsin's mask mandate through November 21st, yet we still see a lot of people out and about without one. Joining us this morning is Dr. Jeff Potoff, UW Health's Chief Quality Officer, to share more on the importance of wearing a mask and also to help us separate fact from fiction. Good morning to you, Dr. Potoff. Good morning. So first of all, some people do have doubts about the benefits of wearing a mask. What evidence is there that wearing a face covering is effective? It's true. There's a lot of misinformation out there around the effectiveness of masks. Part of that is our own fault because early on in the pandemic, uh, we were telling people not to wear a mask. Uh, but we learned a few things. We learned that people who are asymptomatic can spread the disease. And we learned that just talking can spread the disease. And those two factors really did change the guidance. Now, since then, there's been lots of medical studies that looked at masks, both you know with COVID-19, but also other respiratory diseases like influenza. And that evidence was very compelling uh, that masks can stop the, the transmission of COVID-19. Right, and like you said, we do have a lot more information now. So now we're going to tackle some of those face covering questions with a version of myth busters that we're calling mask busters. So myth number one for you, wearing a mask causes someone to breathe in unsafe levels of carbon dioxide. Yeah, we hear this one all the time and I don't know where it came from, but these masks cannot contain gases. So carbon dioxide, uh, air and oxygen, they freely pass through the mask uh, there is no way for you to breathe too much carbon dioxide by wearing a mask. We have surgeons that are doing 16-hour operations. They are masked the whole time. They're doing those highly technical skills, and there is no problem with too much carbon dioxide. So we can bust that myth right now. Okay, so number one busted. Myth number two for you. Since the CDC says that cloth masks won't protect someone from breathing in air pollutants, say like from wildfire smoke, then it cannot protect against COVID-19. The smoke dust, those particles are very small. Viruses are as small as those smoke particles. So people might say, well, if it doesn't you know, stop smoke particles, it can't stop a virus that's the same size. But here's the difference. Viruses need something to travel in and COVID-19 travels in a droplet. That droplet is much larger than smoke particles, easily captured by a mask. So masks work for COVID-19. They don't work as well for smoke. So that myth busted too. We're going to move on to some myths that have to do a little bit with social distancing. So myth number three, if the other person is wearing a mask, I don't need to wear one because they are. There's two parts to this myth. So one, if everyone approached it that way, none of us would have a mask on. We wouldn't get very far. Uh, but here's the other thing. The predominance of benefit for the mask is for the person who doesn't know that they have COVID-19 and is transmitted in the community. They're going to give it to other people. But there is also a benefit to the individual who actually doesn't have COVID-19. Wearing a mask increases the chance that your mask will catch that droplet or at least reduce the dose of COVID-19 that you'll be exposed to. And you might not get sick, or if you do get sick, you won't get as severe as disease. Uh, so we all need to be masked at this point. There really is no good argument or reason for why we wouldn't all put a mask on when we're going out in public and might come in contact with other human beings. Alrighty, moving on to myth number four. If I'm wearing a mask, I do not need to practice social distancing. Yeah, you know, I see this all the time and I think what happened is, you know, we put an either or uh, instead of an and. So when we look at studies, it's not as effective to do one or the other. That doesn't work that well. It's really a combination of social distancing and mask wearing that gives you that benefit. So uh, don't feel comfortable saying, you know what, I'm going to be six feet away from other people. I don't need to wear a mask. Uh, it doesn't work that way. It takes both of those things, not one or the other. Just so many important things to keep in mind, especially right now with the spike that we're seeing across Wisconsin. So we greatly appreciate you joining us, Dr. Potoff. Thank you for clarifying so much on face coverings and for taking part in Mask Busters. Thank you.